Hello. My name is Snow. I am an Arctic fox. We are found throughout the Arctic region, including Alaska, Canada, Greenland, Iceland, Scandinavia, and Russia. We are well adapted to survive in the harsh Arctic environment, with a dense fur coat and a thick layer of body fat for insulation. We have two seasonal coat colors, white in winter for camouflage against snow, and brown or gray in summer to blend in with the tundra landscape. We relatively small foxes, with adults typically weighing between 3 and 8 pounds, 1.4 to 3.6 kilograms. We are known for our resourcefulness, scavenging on carrion and even following polar bears to feed on their leftovers. We have a varied diet, feeding on small mammals like lemmings and voles, birds, eggs, insects, berries, and carrion. We are primarily crepuscular and nocturnal, hunting and foraging during the twilight hours and at night. We have a high metabolic rate, allowing us to withstand freezing temperatures and maintain our body temperature. We are skilled diggers, using our powerful claws to excavate dens in the frozen ground or snow. We are generally solitary animals, but may form loose social groups during the breeding season or when scavenging on carrion. We communicate with a variety of vocalizations, including barks, yips, and growls, which are used for territorial defense and mating. Breeding occurs in the spring, with females giving birth to litters of 5 to 10 pups after a gestation period of about 50 to 60 days. We build dens in the ground or in snowbanks to raise our young, with multiple entrances and chambers for protection. Both of us participate in raising the young, with the male bringing food to the den while the female nurses and cares for the pups. We are preyed upon by larger predators such as wolves, polar bears, and birds of prey, but our cryptic coloration helps us evade detection. Climate change poses a significant threat to our populations, as it alters our habitat and affects prey availability. We have historically been hunted for our fur, which is used in traditional clothing and accessories by indigenous peoples of the Arctic. In the wild, we can live up to three to six years, while in captivity, we may live longer. We hold cultural significance for indigenous Arctic cultures, featuring in folklore, mythology, and traditional art. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share. Hello, my name is Pa, I am a polar bear. We are native to the Arctic Circle and are found in Arctic regions of Canada, Alaska, Greenland, Russia, and Norway. We are the largest land carnivores, with adult males typically weighing between 900 to 1,600 pounds. We have a dense, insulating fur coat consisting of two layers, a dense undercoat and longer guard hairs. Our fur appears white, which helps us blend into their icy surroundings. However, our skin is black to absorb heat from the sun. Under our fur, we have a thick layer of fat, known as blubber, which provides insulation and energy storage. We are considered marine mammals as much of our life is spent on sea ice and we primarily hunt seals. We are using our acute sense of smell to detect seal breathing holes in the ice. We stalk seals at their breathing holes or wait near seal dens, ambushing them when they surface for air. We have an incredible sense of smell, capable of detecting seals from several miles away, even beneath thick layers of ice and snow. We have specialized adaptations for our Arctic habitat, including large, webbed paws for swimming and walking on ice, and a streamlined body shape. We are nomadic animals, traveling long distances in search of food and suitable sea ice habitat. During our breeding season, Female bears dig maternity dens in snowdrifts or on land to give birth and care for our cubs. Our cubs are born small and helpless, weighing around 1 to 2 pounds each, and they are born blind. The females are dedicated caregivers.
nursing their cubs for about two years and teaching them essential survival skills. Conservation for us is supported by international agreements such as the Agreement on the Conservation of Polar Bears and the U.S.-Russia Polar Bear Treaty. We are listed as vulnerable by the International Union for Conservation of Nature, IUCN, due to habitat loss caused by climate change. We also are vulnerable to pollution, particularly contaminants such as persistent organic pollutants, POPs, that accumulate in our fat stores. Current estimates suggest there are between 22,000 to 31,000 of us in the wild. In the wild, we can live up to 25 to 30 years, while in captivity, we may live longer. Climate change poses a significant threat to us as it melts sea ice, reducing our habitat and access to prey. Indigenous communities in the Arctic hunt us for subsistence, and regulated hunting is used as a conservation tool in some areas. We are popular attractions in zoos and wildlife parks worldwide, where we serve as ambassadors for our species and raise awareness about conservation issues. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share. Hello. My name is Cotton. I am an Arctic wolf. We are a subspecies of gray wolves native to the Arctic regions of North America and Greenland. We have a thick, white fur coat which helps us blend into our snowy environment, providing camouflage while hunting. Our fur can also have hints of gray, brown, or black, particularly during the summer months. We have shorter ears and shorter muzzles compared to other subspecies of wolves, which helps us conserve body heat in our cold habitat. Our fur is not just for camouflage, it also provides insulation against the cold, helping us retain body heat. Our fur sheds water easily, preventing ice from forming on our coats when we swim across icy rivers or lakes. We have a specialized circulatory system that prevents our paw pads from freezing on the ice, and have adapted to survive in some of the harshest conditions on Earth, enduring temperatures as low as minus 50 degrees Celsius minus 58 degrees Fahrenheit during the winter. We have a varied diet that includes not only mammals but also birds, fish, and carrion, depending on what is available in their environment. We have cooperated with other predators, such as polar bears, to scavenge or hunt together. We primarily hunt in packs, we are also skilled individual hunters, capable of taking down prey on our own if necessary. We are opportunistic hunters, often scavenging for carrion or preying on weakened or sick animals. We are known for our endurance and can cover long distances in search of food, sometimes traveling over 30 miles in a day. We communicate through a variety of vocalizations, including howls, growls, and barks, which help us coordinate hunts and maintain social bonds within the pack. We have relatively few natural predators, with adult wolves being at the top of the food chain in their ecosystem. We are highly social animals, living and hunting in packs that typically consist of 5 to 10 individuals, although larger packs have been observed. Our packs are usually led by an alpha male and an alpha female, who are the dominant breeding pair. Breeding usually occurs in late winter, with pups born in dens dug into the snowbanks or rocky outcrops in the spring. Our pups are typically born in litters of two to six, and the entire pack assists in raising and protecting them. We play a crucial role in our ecosystem by helping to control prey populations and thus maintain the balance of the food web. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share. Hello, my name is Doe, I am Arctic Wolverine, we inhabit the Arctic and Subarctic regions of North America, Europe, and Asia, with our range extending into Northern Canada, Alaska, Greenland, and Siberia. We are the largest members of the weasel family, Mustelidae, 
and are closely related to other wolverine subspecies found in different regions. Despite our name, we are not related to wolves. We have a stocky build with short legs, a broad head, and powerful jaws. Our fur is thick, coarse, and oily, which helps them stay insulated and dry in the cold and wet Arctic climate. We have a distinctive dark mask-like pattern on their face, which contrasts with their lighter fur. Despite our relatively small size compared to other apex predators, we are incredibly strong for our size and have been known to take down prey much larger than themselves. We have powerful jaws and sharp teeth, which we use not only for hunting but also for breaking through frozen carcasses or bone to access the nutritious marrow inside. We are equipped with retractable claws, which we use for climbing, digging, and gripping onto prey. We are solitary animals, known for our fierce and solitary nature, and are highly territorial, with territories that can span hundreds of square miles. We may form temporary pairs during the breeding season, which typically occurs in late winter or early spring. We are opportunistic omnivores, feeding on a wide range of prey including small mammals like rodents, birds, eggs, carrion, insects, and even plant matter. We are known for our incredible endurance and can travel long distances in search of food, sometimes covering up to 15 to 20 miles in a day. We have a keen sense of smell, which we use to locate food buried under the snow or detect carrion from long distances. We are capable climbers and swimmers, which allows us to access food sources like bird nests and fish. We are known for our scavenging abilities, often following other predators like wolves or polar bears to feed on their kills. We are known for our loud vocalizations, including growls, barks, and high-pitched shrieks, which we use for communication and territorial defense. We are known for our bold and fearless behavior, often taking on larger predators like bears or wolves to defend our territory or food. Female wolverines give birth between one and five kits in dens located in snowbanks or rocky outcrops. The kits are born blind and helpless and are cared for by the mother during breeding season, which typically occurs in late winter or early spring. We are highly adaptable animals, capable of surviving in a variety of habitats ranging from dense forests to barren tundra. We are known to be playful and curious animals, often engaging in mock fights or exploring our surroundings. We have a low reproductive rate and slow population growth, which makes them particularly vulnerable to environmental changes or human disturbances. In some indigenous cultures, we are revered as symbols of strength, cunning, and tenacity. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.